Hey everyone, today on the show, I'm going to finally be doing my second Polaroid episode, the SX-70 episode that you've all been waiting for. Intro. So, for some reason we're next to the Hollywood sign up here in the Hollywood Hills. I just thought that that would be a nice place to do the second episode of my Polaroid series. Now, this particular one, I have several SX-70 cameras that I wanted to test, but this is the one that I really, really wanted to test because the more I found out about this particular one, the more I wanted to use it. What you do is, it looks like this sandwich, then you go, bloop, oh, what's that? It's not a sandwich, oh, what's going on here? You take this part and you go, what? What? Are you serious? Look at that. This is the Polaroid SX-70 land camera sonar one step. Now this weird doohickey on the top actually shoots out sound waves and does autofocus, which is weird, but awesome. And when you look through the viewfinder, you're actually seeing through the lens, which I was quite surprised by, especially for a Polaroid camera. So this is an SX-70 camera. Um, I had been promising for quite some time I would do a series of Polaroid shows, and this is the second one. The first one we did was the 600 cameras, and this is the SX-70. Slightly less common, but still common enough. Um, I got this one used at a thrift store, and I was really happy that I got it. I wasn't sure if it worked at first, but it totally does. And it's an autofocus, which is freaking amazing. You push halfway down on this to focus, and like I said, you actually, when you look through the viewfinder, you're actually seeing through the lens. So there's actually a mirror in there, which is freaking awesome. Also, look, LA. That's LA over there. You can see it. Just to kind of do, give you a recap, there's the 600 film, the SX-70 film, the Spectra film, there's the Peel Apart film, which they don't make anymore, and there's the Instax film, which are those tiny ones. And on this episode, we're doing the SX-70. So like I said, this, this is much more fun, honestly, than shooting the 600 film, because this one has autofocus. The lens, I believe, is actually glass, so it's actually a pretty good lens. And it's all the pictures I'm far happier with, because you can actually focus a lot closer and it focuses, because it actually, it actually has, you can, see, it's auto-focusing, it's auto-focusing, eh, eh, pretty cool, huh, in order to fold it back up again, you just push this little silver lever, and it goes bloop, and then it goes bloop, and then there you go, you got your, you got your sandwich, you got your, ow, doesn't taste very good. But then, yeah, you just put it around your neck. The strap is horribly uncomfortable, and it hurts my neck, but whatever. If you want to manual focus, you can do that too, but you have to push this little thing like that, and it puts the little red doohickey there. And then you can manual focus with this little knobby do. And this little knobby do is, uh, can darken or lighten the picture, change your exposure a little bit. If you're not liking what you're getting. But then if you want to flip it back up, I always just use it on autofocus because it's fine. It, it actually works really well, surprisingly, for such an old technology. So anyways, I've had a freaking blast shooting with this dang thing. Here's some of the pictures that I've taken with this beautiful SX-70. Those are some pictures I've taken with my SX-70. I didn't bring all my other SX-70s here to show you because it was big enough pain just bringing this one and that camera to record me with up the mountains. But just take my word for it that I have other ones. So anyways, thank you for joining me today for my second Polaroid episode. Uh, stay tuned, subscribe. Thanks for joining me. Uh, find me on the internets. I'm all over the damn internet, so I'm on the, the 
the Facebook, the Instagram, the, the, the Twitter, freaking everything. I'm on DeviantArt. I'm, on, I'm all over the damn internet. So anyways, subscribe. See you next time. Bye.